Holography is a technique, which allows the light that is scattered from an object to be recorded, and then later reconstructed as a three-dimensional image. The holograms that are seen on credit cards are etched on two-dimensional plastic film. When light bounces off from them, it recreates the appearance of 3D. But the real beauty of a hologram is that, if it is cut into many pieces, the entire image can still be seen on any one piece. And, if any piece is then changed, that change is reflected in each and every other piece. So God created mankind in his own image. Genesis 1:27. It was through the joys of creativity and the sharing of it that God desired to fragment himself into smaller flames of divine light. One thousand candles can be lit from a single flame without diminishing that one flame. So, in an outbreath of God, seven spirits stood before him, seven rays of colored light. These spirits then divided themselves down into smaller and smaller flickers of light, through the various levels to that of individual souls. And, with each split, these souls lowered the speed of their vibration until they were perceived as solid matter. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. John 1 9 Every one million years, God then takes in a breath and all the fragmented flickers of light return home to him. We are all children of God. And, as children of God, we are a part of God. He chose us in Him before the creation of the world. Now if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. Ephesians 1 4 and Romans 8, 17 God's purpose in creating us was so that He might have an experience of His self as the creator of His own experience. He is in the continual act of creating His self. So we have been given the greatest gift. We have become self-conscious. And, just as he is aware of himself being himself, so are we aware of ourselves being ourselves. God is in every flower, every rainbow and every star. Just as he knows his perfection of design through a snowflake and his awesome beauty through rose, he knows his creative power, through us. To us, he has given the ability to consciously create experience. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. John 1 12. There are other intelligent beings who live within our universe. But their blueprint is not divine. We are the only beings who can choose both our own rate of vibration, as well as our own time frame. We are the only beings who can achieve spiritual mastery, the only beings who have the ability to change matter and the only beings who can eliminate disease within ourselves through our own DNA processes. It is only through us that God knows every aspect of himself. Now another in-breath is about to begin. We are ascending to a higher level, a higher dimension of consciousness. And so is the earth, the solar system, the galaxy, the universe, the multiverse and the omniverse. This is God on all levels. And we are God. I said you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. Psalms 82.6 Historically, each in-breath of God has resulted in a change in the Earth's magnetic field. But, long ago, this caused us to descend to a low level of consciousness. So, in our present state of mind, we have forgotten that this game of life is simply an illusion of the mind. Initially, it wasn't known in the higher realms if God would override what complete freedom of choice has now manifested on Earth. The question was would he decide to intervene at the end of this game and awaken humanity to its divinity in order to prepare us for what would otherwise be the inevitable? And, in so doing, would that be allowing his children the freedom to choose their direction or would that be interfering with their free will? This was the final decision of God.